Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll discuss how Resource Manager allows us to manage the memory usage in pluggable databases. This can be useful to stop a small number of pluggable databases using all the memory assigned to the instance. In Oracle 12.1, there was no way to control how much memory a pluggable database used, which meant one PDB could hog all the memory in the instance. Oracle 12.2 introduced the ability to control the memory used by each PDB, allowing us to reduce the problems associated with noisy neighbours. From Oracle 12.2 onward, the following parameters can be set in the PDB. Most of these should be familiar to DBAs, but one might be new. The SGA min size parameter allows us to define the minimum amount of memory a PDB will need. There are a number of restrictions related to the size of these settings relative to each other and the instance level values, but I'm not going to list them all. It's easier to just read them in the manuals. Besides, if you try to set the incorrect value, you get an error that describes the limitation. Let's set a couple of parameters in our PDBs. We connect to the root container and check the value of the SGA target parameter for the instance. We can see it's set to 2 gig, which is really small, but this is just a test VM on my laptop. We switch to the first PDB and check the value of the SGA target parameter. By default it's set to 0, which means Resource Manager will not try to throttle the memory usage. We set the SGA min size to 512 meg and the SGA target to 1 gig. Resource Manager will try to give this PDB up to 1 gig of SGA for foreground processes, but at minimum will reserve 512 meg. We switch to the second PDB and check the value of the SGA target parameter. It's also set to 0. We set the SGA min size to 256 meg and the SGA target to 512 meg. Resource Manager will now try to limit the memory using these boundaries. Clearly the values in this demonstration are tiny, but you get the idea. Oracle provides views to monitor the resource usage of PDBs. The views contain similar information, but for different retention periods. The $RSRC PDB metric view contains a single row per PDB, holding the last of the one minute samples. The $RSRC PDB metric history view has 61 rows per PDB, holding the last 61 one minute samples. The $RSRC PDB view holds cumulative statistics, since the CDB resource plan was activated. The DBA HIST RSRC PDB metric view holds the AWR snapshots, retained based on the AWR retention period. Access to AWR views require additional licensing, so don't use them unless you are licensed to. If you're using a lone PDB setup, you wouldn't expect to use this functionality. But from 19C onward, we can use three user-defined PDBs without having to pay for the multi-tenant option. So even without the full multi-tenant option, you may still need to exercise some control over noisy neighbours. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.